We have a call. Good timing. Hi, welcome to Matt Connerton Unleashed. Who's this? Well, good afternoon, Matt. It's Gene Simmons of KISS. Gene Simmons of KISS. Wow, that's uh, wonderful to hear from you, sir. How are well, you? Oh, my goodness. What is that noise? Oh, that was, uh, that was my special Gene Simmons of KISS air horn. I only use it when we get a call from Gene Simmons of KISS. Well, I'm truly honored, Matt. Yes, thank you. We're honored to hear from you, sir. You know, you are in my favorite band. It's a bit, a bit annoying, but a truly honored. Thank you. What can we do for you, Gene Matt, Simmons of KISS? Matt, I'm calling because I wanted to let you know, more than, more than anybody else, I wanted mm -hmm. to let you to be the first to know that I've added 17 more shows to the February lineup uh -huh. at the Schnoo Arena. Wow, 17 uh, the, more? Yeah. Wow. On top of the 47 that have been added. Yes. To the original show. So you're doing like a residency here in uh, Manchester, New Hampshire. That's correct, Ma. I think we deserve it. It's all because of you, Ma. Really? It's because of me? I thought perhaps you might well, uh, credit Dan Randlett. He's the biggest KISS fan I know. Well, he is the biggest KISS fan, perhaps, in his mind. But you are letting Ace Frilly and myself stay at your place when we are there to do all 58 shows. I had forgotten about that. Didn't we agree that Ace was going to stay somewhere else? I thought we were just going to have you stay there. We no, could have Ace too? you did mention on the air, actually, that Ace and myself could stay at your place. Okay. And that Jenny was going to stay somewhere else. Oh, Play the oh right, right. Well, we do have a fold-out couch. I guess we can put Ace there. Oh, boy. Well... Yeah, we'll get a couple of air mattresses or something. Will you and Ace, will you share an air mattress? Whatever it takes. We just need a place to stay. Yeah, all right. I'd rather have Paul stay there because he's my favorite. No offense, Gene Simmons of Kiss, but Paul Stanley is my hero. Paul will be staying at the Cadillac Motel. Okay, wow, no kidding. Well, you are doing a residency, so I know at the Cadillac they have a long-term uh, residence so to speak. Um, well, that's the thing. All of us were going to stay at the Cadillac Motel, but it's fully booked. Oh. They have rooms there for a lifetime. Right. <laughs> uh, Michael Alber, who is a top fan, is asking, will Shannon Tweed be there, your lovely bride? Shannon and I are on sabbatical. Oh, you are? That's correct. Oh, no. Like a, like a separation? Matt, there are some things that I just don't want to talk about because they're very personal. I understand. I understand. Well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, Gene Simmons of Kiss. Uh, I was hoping maybe, uh, what about her sister, uh, Tracy? Is she going to be around? I'm just asking for Probably. Michael. Um, Michael was wondering. <laughs> Most likely. Yes, yes. All right. Well, that's that's fine then. And don't forget to catch me next Thursday in the Mall of New Hampshire parking lot while I'll be ringing the bell for the Salvation Army at J.C. Penney. <laughs> wow, no kidding. Oh, boy. From noon to one. Right, right. And then do you hand that off to the people's mayor, Glenn R.J. Willett? I'm sorry, you cut out there, Matt. What was that? Oh, I was just asking, do you then hand that off to the people's mayor, Glenn R.J. Willett, because he does that. Yes, he'll be taking over for me at 1 o'clock. That's exciting. Wow. Very nice. Uh, you're going to be very busy. You're, you're going to have a busy holiday season, Gene Simmons of Kiss. That's correct. And if you donate $10 while you're there with me at J.C. Penning, I will give you 25% off Kiss tickets at the Schnoo Arena in February. Somehow I doubt that. Oh, ye of little faith, Mom. <laughs> Did you talk that over with Paul? Because I only ask because Gene Simmons of Kiss, I know you, you're, you're this, uh, you present yourself as this great businessman, but the Kiss fans, we kind of know 
that it's actually Paul Stanley who runs the band. I mean, we've kind of figured that out. Paul and I have worked this out. Hmm. Paul is okay with this. He signed off? Paul, it was Paul's idea. <laughs> okay. All right, if you say so, Gene Simmons of Kiss, if you say so. Well, they approached Paul and they asked him if he wanted to do it, and he didn't want to do it. So I said, I'll do the Mall of New Hampshire thing if if Easy G does it with me. So Easy G will be standing there with me oh. at the Mall of New Hampshire from noon to one, ringing the bell. Who do you feel is the bigger star, uh, Gene Simmons of Kiss? You or uh, Easy G? Oh, is this a trick question? Or? No, no. I, I'm sincerely, uh, I'm very sincere. I'm always very sincere, uh, sir. Well, Matt, as you know, the biggest star ever is Gene Simmons of Kiss. Yes, yes. But but Easy G is by all means, the local Manchester star. Right. After, of course, after Michael Martineau. Yes, yes. Michael Martineau is clearly the biggest star of all. Yes, I am. Clearly <laughs> the biggest star. <laughs> yes, yes. Brian Mackey in the Facebook live chat says, Hi, Matt. I think you should have Paul call in. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Uh, well, Paul is my favorite, but, uh, but we seem to have established uh, a, a relationship with... Uh, Gene Simmons of Kiss. He's joined us many times. He's even joined us uh, here in the studio. Although he always looks a little different. But he's in disguise. Paul Stanley's way too busy. Paul Stanley's way too busy to be calling into radio shows. Even this one? That's ah, very disappointing. Well, that's his That's his mantra, I guess you could say. <laughs> what, what? What is his mantra? I'm too busy? <laughs> I'm too busy to call into radio shows. Oh. Um, <laughs> well, he is a spiritual man. Very much so. Yes, yes. Wow. Well, you should uh now while you're here while you're here, uh Gene Simmons of Kiss, will you be uh, connecting with uh Scumpy from the band Defcon? <laughs> um I might. I might be bumping into him. Wow. <laughs> It's very exciting. He plays uh, some of your songs, I think. That's right, yes. I I give him full permission to play any song that he wants to cover. Right. Brian says, I talked to Paul earlier today. He's not busy. Hmm. I'm sorry, you cut out again. He's not what? He's not busy? Brian, Brian claims that he talked to Paul earlier and he's not busy. And Michael Albert claims that EZG is a colonel in the KISS Army. They're both correct. Wow. Oh, my. And uh, Stefan Philbrook joins us in the Facebook live chat. Stefan Philbrook's another big fan. Yes. Yes, he is. Do you still hang out with... Uh, I know you're friends with uh, President Trump, or at least you were during uh, your appearance on The Apprentice. It seems like you guys were pretty chummy. Do you still talk with him? Donald Trump is a tool. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow, Gene Simmons of Kiss. I'm, you uh, run a risk of alienating some of your audience with that kind of talk. I'm very surprised. No, I mean, he's a very useful tool of oh. the government, oh. and uh, everybody needs him. Right. Well, you also uh, risk alienating uh, uh, some of your audience with being so pro-Trump, uh, Gene Simmons of Kiss. I, I thought you'd be more, uh, I thought you would dodge the question, but uh, I give you credit for meeting it uh, head on. Uh, Stefan in the uh, Facebook live chat says, it's that time of year where I need to share some sappy comments with Mr. Gene Simmons. Um Oh, he wants to share sappy comments with you. Brian says, uh, Stefan Philbrook is a Paul man. Sorry, Gene. And uh, Archie Frangudis joins us in the Facebook live chat. Hello, fans. Yes. You do bring the fans, Gene Simmons of Kiss. Well, when word gets around that Gene Simmons of Kiss is going to be on there, people do uh, take part and uh, 
their community. It's the KISS Army. Uh, yes, yes. You've got the KISS Army. You've got the KISS Navy with the uh, the cruise, the annual Chris, uh, KISS cruise that you guys do. It's uh, It's amazing. That's right. And this time of the year, we have the Kiss Salvation Army. And as I said, don't don't uh, don't forget, we'll be at the Mall of New Hampshire this Saturday from noon till one with EZG, banging the tambourine, asking for money, and twenty five percent off Kiss tickets <laughs> from donations of one hundred dollars or more. Right. I'm still very uh, skeptical about that, uh, Gene Simmons of Kiss. That doesn't sound real to me. Oh, I promise. Just look for me. Just look for me. I'll be in full Gene Simmons garb with the Santa hat on and the tambourine and easy G by my side. Amy Hazard King says useful tool. Referring to uh, Donald Trump, I believe. Oh, uh, Stefan says, oh, oh not uh, comments, commercials, sappy commercials. Stefan says, you know what, he, what he's referring to, uh, Gene Simmons of Kiss? I do know what he's referring to. Oh, you do? Okay. I wondered if he was referring to this commercial. Remember this? Kiss. The incredible, outrageous rock group wants you to kiss your face. Introducing Kiss Your Face Makeup. Just like the makeup worn by Gene, Paul, Peter, or Ace. Kiss Your Face Makeup has all the equipment you need. Professional makeup, brushes, and cream remover with makeup diagrams so you can look like Gene, look like Paul, look like Peter, or look like Ace. So kiss, kiss, kiss your face, and get your act together. Kiss Your Face Makeup is from Remco. Do you remember that, Gene Simmons of Kiss? I do remember that. I do remember that. Paul actually wrote... The words to that commercial. He's a brilliant writer. Paul. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, good. <laughs> I didn't know he wrote the. Uh, I didn't know he wrote the commercials. Paul writes everything for Kiss. Well, what about this one? Did he write this one? That's the name. Kiss. They may look insane. Kiss. If you box the game. This is KISS, each sold separately, and you can put them in any crazy pose you want. That's the name, KISS, they may look insane, KISS, it rocks your game, it's KISS. KISS, each 12 and a half inch figure sold separately by Mego. Wow, did Paul write that one? That one was a collaboration, actually, a lot of people don't know this one. Paul Stanley actually sat with Alice Cooper. And wrote that commercial. Wow. 1977. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, the ad came out in 78, so that makes sense. Uh, Brian Mackey says, yep. uh, let's review banging on the tambourine and asking for money. Yep, sounds like the 80s. Uh, Stephen Philbrook says, better get ready to cry, Gene. I'm about to jam your inbox with sappy commercials. Oh, no. It doesn't surprise me. <laughs> well, all right. I, I, I feel like there's some sort of inside uh, thing there with uh, you and uh, Mr. Philbrook, uh, Gene Simmons. Well, Kiss. Mr. Philbrook has, uh, d- during this time of the year, Mr. Philbrook uh, likes to uh, share uh, very uh, intimate uh, holiday commercials with uh, Gene Simmons of Kiss. Ah. All right. Don't ask me why. I have no idea, but um, it's very nice, actually. Very touching. Yes, yes. Uh, Brian Mackey think, shared I, uh, a, a link to uh, Beth by uh, by Kiss, but you didn't write that. That was uh, Peter Chris, of course. That is right. Yes, yes. Do you know who that song is about? Uh, uh, who that song is about? Well, I know that, that song. Beth? I know that originally it was titled Beck. And then uh, because it was about a uh, young lady named Becky, and then Gene Simmons uh, suggested changing it to, to to Beth. Otherwise, people might think he had written a song about Jeff Beck. That's the story no. I heard. Oh, is that not true, Gene Simmons of Kiss? No, the song is about Beth. Oh. Okay. That's correct. <laughs> So, oh, okay. Well, I thought the story I heard was a little better, but okay. Yeah, no, that's all fluff. The story you heard about Beck, and I've heard that, that Jeff Beck thing, 
Yes. There is nothing to do with, absolutely nothing to do with Jeff Beck. The song is about Beth. It was about some chick that uh, Peter met in a bar one night. Uh, he stooped her, uh, blew her off, gave her 50 bucks, let her go, and uh, that was it. The song is about Beth. And she really, quite frankly, wasn't that good looking. Oh, no. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the record company said, hey, look, we need a ninth track on the album. Uh, so uh, uh, Peter sat down and uh, wrote Beth. Okay. Uh, yeah. And actually, her name was Bertha, but it didn't go well with the rest of the song. <laughs> so right. we named it Beth. Right. Yeah. Bertha wouldn't work as well. Yeah. Uh, Bertha, I hear you calling. Yeah, no, it didn't work. Doesn't work. No. Uh, Michael Alber says, what is it touching? I'm not sure what he's referring to. Is he referring to your tongue? Um, Stefan says, asking for a friend, Gene, what is the best way to treat your skin? Make sure it's moist after it's been wrapped in plaster. I'm just talking about a part of my body. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, dear. I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> I'll, have, I'll private message you. I'll, I'll private message you, fan. That's probably was uh, that, was, for the best. Was that Stefan? That was Stefan Philbrook, yes, yes. Right, yes. I'll, I'll private message him on that one. Well, there is a song about that that I might uh, I might have to end the show with today, uh, Plaster Caster. Plaster Caster? Yes, yes. From, uh, from Destroyer. Grab hold of me faster, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> those are the, well. Those are the lyrics. Yes. Right. Right. You know who wrote that song? Uh, you did, I think, didn't you, uh, Gene Simmons of Kiss? I I actually wrote that song with the great Paul Williams. Wow! Really? I remember Paul Williams, a little guy. Yes. Short little guy. The little guy, actually, <laughs> still alive. He also wrote the theme to the Love Boat. I didn't know that. <laughs> did you help him write that? No, I didn't help him write that. Ace did. Oh, Ace I... Fraley and Paul Williams wrote the theme to the love boat. I had no idea. I learned so much from you, Gene Simmons of Kiss. We all do. Well, it's the holiday season. It's the time of giving, so I figured I'd reveal a few things. <laughs> yes, I think that's wonderful. Well, uh, Gene Simmons of Kiss, we'll have to... We'll have to go in a moment. Uh, Fridays, we uh, wrap Listen, up the I got to go, yes. we. I do have to go. I am on tour, and uh, we're yes. on stage right now. I uh, <laughs> We're just taking a break. There's There's been a drum solo on for the past 20 minutes, and I'm sure his arms are getting really tired. So okay. I got to get back on stage. All right, Gene Simmons of KISS, thank you so much for the call. Hey, and listen, God gave rock and roll to you. Gave rock and roll to everyone. Yes, to everyone. Thank you, Gene. All right, Gene Simmons of Kiss. Wow, very exciting. Can you believe, I mean, is that why you, that's probably the real reason you come in, Michael Martineau, because you get to talk to the stars. Yes, I do. You get to talk to Easy G. You get to talk to Gene Simmons of Kiss. I mean, what more could you ask for? Talking to you every day. Thank you. I was hoping you'd say that, Michael Martineau. Thank you very much. And that, uh, that deserves. Yes. All right, well, we do need to wrap up because it is Friday. And, of course, on Fridays, uh, we finish uh, we finish up the program a little bit early because we are followed by, at 6 p.m., Granite State of Mind, hosted by the great uh, Rob Azevedo. And Rob has uh, typically live musicians come in and play. So they need a bit of time to set up. So uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you to Gene Simmons of Kiss uh, for calling. Uh as well as uh, Matt Nissenhoff uh, from the Politipod podcast. That was a lot of fun talking with him. Thank you, uh, Michael Martineau. Always nice to see you. Yep, always nice to see you as well. Yes, yes. Thank you to all our new listeners on KCOW, even though uh, Michael doesn't believe in you. And uh, thank you to everybody in the Facebook live chat. 